Welcome to A level chemistry. Our topic for today is polymerization. Now we are very familiar with this topic because we have done addition polymerization and condensation polymerization in our IGCSEs and we did addition polymerization again in our AS levels. So yeah we are very familiar uh, with this topic and um, so what we are going to do new today is some more emphasis on condensation polymerization and we, we are going to learn about two very important biological molecules which are proteins and DNA. So we are going to do a lot of uh, a lot on condensation polymerization today and about the properties of condensation polymers and everything. So this is a very important chapter comes uh, almost in every paper. So you, you should be very uh, well equipped with the knowledge from this chapter and you'll be good to go. So let's go forward. Now addition polymerization. So we are very familiar with this. So let's do a very quick recap. We know that we have an alkene which is the monomer. So we have an alkene which is called the monomer. Monomer because it's a single unit. And when several of these monomer units combine, we get something called a polymer, which is a large chain made up of several monomer units chemically bonded together. So we get a polymer, which in this case is polyethene because the monomer was ethene. And since this is a polymer, this is polyethene. So you can see that the double bond in ethene breaks. And as the double bond in ethene breaks, it's, it allows these carbon atoms to form one more bond each. And because of this property, this, it, forms, it forms a very long chain because there are several ethene molecules. Let's say there are n ethene molecules. I'm sorry about that. So there are n ethene molecules. And we have a polymer chain, one long, a single long polymer chain, uh, which is made of n units of ethene. So uh, n units of ethene reacted together. So this is called polyethene. We are already very uh, well aware about this. And this is called a repeat unit of polyethene because it's a, uh, because we've just shown a, uh, this a single ethene molecule when it, uh, when it's double bond breaks to form the polymer. So this is called one repeat unit. Two repeat, uh, two repeat units will be shown as four carbon atoms because since it's a repeat unit after every CH2CH2 there will be another CH2CH2. So that will be the second repeat unit because it's repeating all along the length of the chain. So and then uh, the last thing we have to do is make these continuation bonds. These are very important because this shows that, okay, these are just two repeat units, but this doesn't mean that the polymer has finished making. There will be several thousands of units combined together. So we have to, it's very important for us to make these con continuation bonds because if we don't, then it is, then it will also be wrong chemistry because obviously carbon has tetravalency, which means it, uh, which means every carbon atom can form four bonds in total. So we will have to show the fourth bond for both these carbon atoms, which are at the terminals of the repeat units. So this is the second repeat unit. And if you have to make a third repeat unit, we'll just add another CH2, CH2 over here. So CH2, CH2. So we add another and this becomes three repeat units and a continuation bond. So it just keeps going on like that. So they will, they do not ask ask you to make more than three units usually, three repeat units. Now there is one thing that we have to do, one thing new which we have to do in addition polymerization and it's called copolymers. So copolymers are nothing but two or more different monomers combined to form a polymer. So for example till now what we had done is we took one monomer like ethene and we polymerized it. So it was just a single monomer, a single type of monomer. But when we have two different monomers, like ethene as one monomer,
and uh, let's say vinyl chloride which is also known as chloroethene as the other monomer uh, 